At the CLS, we talk a lot about the spectrum of light, and we have light here ranging from infrared to hard x-rays. But what's really exciting to me is the spectrum of research that we support. It's rare for a scientific facility to have such a breadth of experience and so many different specialists. So you walk down the hallway and you'll have experts in physics, chemistry, agriculture, health sciences, anthropology, and having all these people together in the same building to use the same facility is really valuable and it really benefits the science. We build and provide tools to visiting researchers that allow them to answer questions that they can't get the answers to anywhere else in the world. We have more than a thousand researchers from across Canada and the world involved in research that happens here. You wouldn't think that something called a synchrotron would be used for such tangible applications, but really we do a lot of applied research here that benefits industry. So we do work in pharmaceuticals, in batteries, in mining, all sorts of different sectors uh, that really benefit from having access to these kinds of facilities. At the Canadian Light Source, uh, you can use the synchrotron tools and techniques to solve problems in any scientific discipline. Canadian scientists could not only pioneer in various fields, but they could also drive for scientific solutions for complex challenges that we are currently facing, such as global warming or global food security or newly emerging diseases. I was in grade eight when the Star Phoenix, which is our newspaper, ran stories about the construction of a national science facility. And I thought that was very cool. And 20 years later, I'm very lucky to actually work here. We help scientists build things like RF antennas, like microfluidics, and like X-ray optics. So at the mid infrared Beamline, we basically do a little bit of everything. So we do a lot of materials research, bio life science, agriculture, pretty much everything is able to be measured in the infrared. The way that I would describe working on a Beamline is basically solving problems, which I think is the cornerstone of of good science, because we're always trying to understand how things are working, whether they're working right, whether we understand them. It's really exciting to see the scope of research that we enable and to see the demand for our facilities and to be able to support world-class researchers here every day.